place for a man to die and leave vast accumulations behind him. Many a person is living in a palace today who in the real life is poorer than many a one who has not even a roof to cover him. A man may own and live in a palace, but the palace for him may be a poor house still. Moth and rust are nature's wise provisions, God's methods, for disintegrating and scattering, in this way getting ready for use in new forms, that which is hoarded and consequently serving no use. There is also a great law continually operating whose effects are to dwarf and deaden the powers of true enjoyment, as well as all the higher faculties of the one who hoards. Multitudes of people are continually keeping away from them higher and better things because they are forever clinging on to life. If they I hope y'all enjoying us to this okay, old, man. I hope y'all having a great rising. To come. Hoarding always brings loss in one form or another. The time. Using, wisely using, brings an ever-renewing game. It's your boy Seven Points of Bliss, a.k.a. Pomegranate Samurai. And, and today we just going to <laughs> work on this tree. It's one of the sacred trees from my comic book. I'm really vibing. I've been working really heavy on this stuff. I probably should have recorded way more of but the tree is already dead, I'm gonna give you, give you guys some of this right here, man. Also, I got a nice little playlist for y'all today. Let me see, let me see, let me set that up. But yeah, yeah, I'm give a good look at this tree, man. It's really sacred, bro. The tree is way bigger than um, it looks. Let's see what we got for the play today. Let's get it. What that volume looking like? We're gonna turn this up a little bit more, man. I don't know what that, that power your boy, so I'm turn my up. Turn my audio up. Maybe we're rocking with Glitch Gang, bro. This, I'm gonna try to see if I can put the link to this playlist under this video. But Glitch Gang, boy. I can't even say Glitch King is universal. It's dimensional. I got the shoes in my bag. I got the accent on tap. I got the DMC. I live in my life like a sash. Holding it down for the game. Glitchy all over the map. Learning to Cali, we out. So I was advised to come and talk to you guys about stuff that's going on with me. In life. Just because I know the world is going through stuff too. So I'm going to share my journey with you guys. So recently, I've had a running with negative energy, but I don't even let that phase me. I'm just in my own zone whole time. I'm working. I was working at Mickey D's. I wasn't cooking or anything like that. I was doing like baking and stuff like that. And man. Tell me, I think I was working for like maybe seven months. And I just, I feel like, you know, me, I have a good work ethic, man. I go to work every day. I, although I don't even hold that to like who I am as a person. It means nothing. Your job, unless you're working in your passion, your job don't mean much. You know what I'm saying? You just get money, doing something for somebody else. And it's like, what are you really doing for yourself? So. I just I would go to work every day and I went I went on time because I respected the job just off the simple fact that you know there was money being made put in my pocket so you can't do nothing but really respect that and um, my coworkers they were cool I didn't have nobody I had a problem with necessarily and um it was just interesting because the district manager they're like man I don't know what his problem was but the man just didn't like me man he's a Latino guy. And here in Texas, man, people people are interested. I thought I did with some interesting people in Chicago, but in Texas, man, people are a little bit they a little bit different. You know what I mean? In, in a lot of ways, not even just bad ways. The district manager, he just always was on my heels for no reason, but like for no reason at all. I, like the man suspended me for seven days. And he thought it was gonna hurt me, but I had told him like, but I was at home working on art. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for the vacation. I, I was, you know what I mean? Like when he suspended me, I was telling this man, bro, you literally messing with the only person who comes to work every day, never late, never call out. 
you know and so i'm wondering why i ain't had a problem with me you know because it's like what's the deal bro you know what i'm saying you balling the only person that's doing what they're supposed to be doing so they stress out the general manager that was there her brother was like on his deathbed they stressed this man out i mean they stressed this lady out my apologies and she quits so then after she pretty much quits right he starts going in on me which is interesting but he was already bothering me like two weeks prior when he suspended me when he suspended me so he suspended me like two weeks prior for some stuff that wasn't even it was outside of my power they were telling me that i'm supposed to be following this list as a maintenance man bro which is very funny so i followed this list and all the stuff on the list the time it was just off you know what i mean like everything was very inconvenient but you know what i mean i still did the job regardless it was just like bad timing for that for the stuff they wanted me to do and um it's just it's just so interesting because i'm like what are they what is this man's problem bro he he literally suspended me for being a good team player so in the meeting prior to that we had sat down with the owner and the owner spoke to everybody and he spoke to me including the district manager and the general manager simultaneously and he tells us that me and the general manager are actually supposed to be working hand in hand so that makes sense you know what I mean? and he was also saying the only person i truly answered to was the general manager so that means i didn't even answer to like the kitchen manager which that's a whole nother story but i'm gonna tell you that in, in this story too because it all links so you know so the general manager right she tells me one morning because five like five people called out so it was only me her and the elderly lady working in the kitchen now, i wasn't even working in the kitchen i'm cleaning up the front of the restaurant so she tells me five people called out she's like i really need you over here in the kitchen you need to stop doing the maintenance and you need to you know come over here and help us so of course me being the type of loving and caring person i am and being a, a good team player because you know I mean? that's what it's all about bro. You know, I, I really don't like seeing people struggle like that and i try to have a really kind heart and be very uh, attentive like that when it comes to the type of stuff in, in the team setting so she tells me to stop doing what i'm doing and i'm still be following this list so i'm already a little questioning so i stop what i'm doing and i go work on this table prepping this food for the customers coming to the drive it's early in the morning i think it's about it had to be about 6 30 almost 7 o'clock and there was only three people in the restaurant so i go over there and i help her so <laughs> coming the next day she not even there right this is her day off the district manager comes in before i leave and he he asked me he's like are you he's like are you uh almost done doing the truck it was a truck day so i'm doing a truck unloading the truck stocking in all that type of stuff and i tell him like man, i'm almost done so i get done i time the truck perfectly you know what i mean so i can get done right before i go home so i get done with the truck and my man suspends me bro he sits me down in the front of the restaurant and literally suspends me saying that i wasn't doing my job now that's crazy because that wasn't even my first offense now my first offense was a week prior now listen to this now, this is really now i leave i leave work at one o'clock every day sharp because i come on time i'm a firm believer like if i show up to work on time you need to let me go on time because i'm gonna do my job because my time is my time whatever the schedule say that's law in my mind you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, people have this mentality as to where they you stay at work as long as you need. That's not how that operates, bro. We not slaves, bro. You don't own me. This money that I'm making at this job don't own me. So, my man, so the, like, the first offense, let me get back to that. The first offense was like a week prior, I think. And the owner came in after I had left. Now, I leave at one. The owner came in at two. And was complaining about the garbage being full, saying, Oh man, that's on maintenance. Fire him. That's what he tells this man. Fire me. Because the garbage is full at 2 o'clock. Now keep in mind. No, no, no. You know what? He came in at 2 30. My apology. I remember that. He came in at 2 30. I left at 1 o'clock. Now, my man, I'm thinking, 
what does any of this have to do with me bro i'm gone i left i left literally at the highest point the pinnacle of the lunch period so it really was more my mind because i'm like what's happening man how can i be blamed for something and i've been gone for an hour and if i left in the midst of the highest point of the lunch period right how could i be accused for not taking the garbage out it's been an hour bro i don't understand like the guy was he wilding bro in my mind i'm just sitting here thinking like bro how can i even be blamed for that it's been an hour and a half since i've been gone you think ain't no garbage gonna be made very interesting so he goes forth and he tells the district manager to fire me right and ever since that the dude was on my heels so i was doing everything i was supposed to do i'm talking about i was leaving that that bad boy immaculate when i left that restaurant you know what i mean so my man was just literally just trying to find reasons just to like get rid of me after that you know what i mean that's why i didn't even give him no reasons i did what i was supposed to do and i left and it's like every time after that the dude the owner would try to come in and he tried to find something so there was another time the dude tried to complain to me and like man this was actually during the time he had suspended me he was talking about this he was saying that he was suspending me because i wasn't doing my job and as far as he was concerned i wasn't supposed to be helping the general manager on the table you know what i'm saying they told her like we pay you so much money he shouldn't be doing any of that you should be doing all of it now i'm really thinking to myself like bro what do these people expect you know what I'm saying? Are they trying to break up a good cohesive team? Because everybody would work good together. You know what I mean? I mean, people complain. That's what people going to do. But it was still so weird because I'm like, man, bro, what is really happening right now? And I started to, to really realize that this guy is really corrupt because the fact that he suspended me for doing what the general manager told me to do and I'm supposed to follow, like, whatever she says, right, it was very weird to me. And I don't know if it's just me, maybe I think wrong, which I feel like I really don't, because it just makes complete sense. But the dude suspended me for just being a team player, bro, and following orders. Now, in my mind, I'm thinking, why am I the one being suspended? Technically, the general manager should get suspended, because I was following her orders, but they didn't see it like that. I feel like they found another way to stress her out to get her to quit, because she quit not even two weeks later after I got suspended. So the guy fires me, right? And I'm I'm talk I'm I talked to the dude. So I was going on my lunch break. Now on the list, right? I'm supposed to follow this list that they've been so adamant about. So I'm following the list, man. Every day I follow this list. So on the list, cause they say it's law, I'm supposed to follow the list. I'm supposed to go on lunch. I got a 30 minutes lunch break. I got a 30 minutes lunch break every day. Every day I've been working there for seven months, right? I got a lunch break because it's on the list it's, it's mandatory for me because everybody else gets like a 15 minute break you know what i'm saying they get like two 15 minute breaks they go smoke their cigarettes and do all that other stuff right i don't smoke no cigarettes so i don't need no smoke break like that you know what i mean so i don't get no breaks at all and down here in texas they got this thing where they like well you can get a break if i tell you that's not the case bro not with this i wasn't working i was i'm working in food service but i'm not a food service worker you know what i mean I'm not serving no food, bro. I was a maintenance man. I mean, I did janitorial work. I was cleaning bathrooms, cleaning the lot. You know what I mean? Cleaning up behind the nasty little workers, leaving stuff everywhere. You know, and it was just very weird to me because I'm like, man, what is this dude tripping on? He, I go on lunch. He calling me back in, bro. The man talking to me, all types of crazy and disrespectful. Like, I'm not a man. You know what I mean? Like, the dude was talking to me like I had no worth. He telling me I need to be finishing this truck. And I'm telling him, like, bro, I literally had, like, not even that pallet left. It was, like, half of a cart, really. And he tells me, he's like, well, if I got to do your job, then I don't need you. So I'm telling him, like, bro, you're not doing my job. I literally did the whole truck. I did the freezer, the refrigerator. Uh, dry stock and I put every bro the only thing I had left was these boxes right and they soda beer so they got like the soda that people drink in it right so I'm man tripping I'm literally I literally bro I'm telling you it was so nuts because it had to be about 10 to 15 boxes on this car but they was as small boxes so the man telling me if he gotta finish my job then i I don't he don't need me and i'm like finish what you're not doing anything like i already finished 
still can't explain. You know what I mean? And then when I would come back from my lunch, I, I leave at one. You know what I mean? I was going on my lunch late already, so I was going at eleven thirty. Now I was going at eleven fifteen. My man told me he was like, I didn't release you, and my man keeps talking to me like this, and it's like, where, where, where like that's the, like, that's the problem with these leaders, bro. It's like, who do you all think you're talking to? Have some respect when you're talking to people, man. People don't like that shit, and you a person, so you should understand it, right? I'm not. I don't belong to you. I don't belong to a company. I am me. I am a person. I'm an individual. Why? Why do people in leadership feel the need to talk disrespectful to people? I have no idea. And, and people, whoever hiring these people, bro, y'all really need to really look at your sales. Because if you hiring people like this, you you, you reflecting, bro. You're a shitty individual. And I'm sorry to say that, but that's what it is. And dude, you know what I'm saying? He was pretty shitty, bro. How he tried to fire me. And then my man fired me, right? And my homies hit me up the next day. Because I told them what happened. They managers. They was being they being trained to be managers now. You know what I mean? Big ups to them. I'm happy they doing their thing. They hit me up the next morning and tell me. After the day after I was fired, right? They tell me the guy. The district manager put down on paper that I quit. And he fired me. The man told me to leave. Because I'm sitting there telling this man, like, bro, I get a lunch break. You know what I mean? Like, that's it. That's what the paper say. You said follow the list. He studied talking to me. He, and he's just talking crazy. Like, you all don't own anybody. And the man was so unrighteous. And, and the thing the thing that really kills me about... I don't even want to say it kills me, man, because I'm so alive right now, man. The thing that it kind of gets me hyped up about all this is the fact that he was so unhonorable, man. And I can tell the man was so hurt, he but hurt, because I wasn't hurt when he suspended me. You know, a person to dish out a punishment to you, but if you enjoy it, you know what I mean, it's a problem. My man was so hurt that I was not hurt that he suspended me a week prior. You know what I mean? Like, I already felt like the dude was going to try to fire me because he just had that energy out for me. And the fact that he suspended me off the fact that I was just following orders was weird because the, my, my homies who I was just telling you guys about who going up for management, they informed me that in their training, they were told that the maintenance man, if needed, is supposed to help out the rest of the team like that, like step up to any section and work. So what I'm not getting is why I was suspended for doing that exact same thing, and I'm not even impressed about the job because you know what I mean the art is way more important, man. I, I feel like the universe is telling me something. Every year I I lose a job on something. You know what I'm saying? Like it don't even be. I'm not gonna say it don't be me because I'm just a righteous person. So it more than likely is me. You know what I mean? I, I'll move through every situation with a certain level of integrity and a certain level of elder honor. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like an elder warrior, and I'm not even an elder. I just hold that type of honor because that's what a warrior is. You know what I'm saying? And I see myself as a warrior, and it's not always about battling when it comes to being a warrior. Sometimes it's just about healing, bro. All all battles and all wars aren't necessary physical. And I didn't necessarily feel like this is a battle because I know my power. But my man, he was trying to battle me, though. You know what I mean? And, I, and that's like, bro, I'm not even going to battle you. I don't see no need to prove you. Any children out there, man, that's who I'm trying to prove myself to. And that's because they the future. And we should be proving ourselves to them, bro, to let them know that they worthy, too. Because they want to know that. Like, people out here, man, they want to know that they're worthy. And these children, they deserve that, bro. And how we move and how they see us move and how we tell our stories to them. Like the elders told us, forms is going to form them with a lot of power. And it's really on us to give them that power, man. And if we... And if we, if we let people do us like this right now, man, what's the what the shorty's going to do? My daughter asked me, man, a few months ago. She was like, Dad, I want to get a job. She wasn't even asking me, man. I can't even say that. She was telling me she wanted to get the job. And I'm like, why? She was like, where should I get my first job? And I told her straight up. I'm like, man, your first job should be you working for yourself. You got to be working for you. It's for you, man. All of it. 
Cause it's like, man, who you working for? I'm telling her she's 16. You so young. Who you trying to go work for? You want to get a job? Work for yourself, right? That's the best time. This the best. I'm, and I keep explaining this to her, and I know she don't get it, cause my videos probably don't even be getting no views. I think I got probably like a hundred some views as the max on one of my videos, and that it don't even it don't phase me, man. Cause really, whole time this 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 library I leave behind called the YouTube channel is really for the, for her, for my son, for glitch game kids. You know what I mean? Like, man, this this what we doing because. If the kids don't see their own worth, who going to show them, bro? We got to show them that. And these jobs is not going to show this. And then at the same time, it's like when you move with a certain type of honor, the people that don't have that honor, you know what I mean? They're they going to try to slow you down. And my man, he, he was hating on me for real. And I know that shit sounds funny to say somebody was hating on me, but this grown man was really upset. That I was not upset that he suspended me. Over that seven days of suspension, I had I was thinking, man, because I already felt like it was coming. Cause I'm in tune, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's like, bro. Sometimes it hurts to be that in tune, just to know something is happening and you know it's not righteous. You know what I mean? Like, but. I don't never be letting that type of stuff get me down. At one point, I let whenever I lost a job, it just got me ultra depressed, bro. You know what I mean? Cause the lady I was dating, she she was like always just on me, bro, about the jobs and everything else about the jobs to her. And I be feeling like sometimes in her mind, she sees my value in these jobs. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, dang. And then they even just. Anything recent, man. Women in the past, bro. Like I was married before. She acted the same way, and she wasn't even working that much. You know what I mean? So it was like, dang, why? Man, it like, bro. I don't care if you're a lady or you're a man, bro. It don't matter what you are. Your value is not in no jobs, bro. If you're not doing what you doing, cause you love it, you losing. And until you come to that mind frame, bro, you gonna stay losing because it's not you. None of this shit you. None of this shit you. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, people get all that nostalgia and that hyped up over these jobs. How much you make an hour, bro? Your time is priceless, bro. There's no monetary value that can ever express your existence. And it's like, bro, why do we do this to ourselves? We just... When you meet somebody, you, you know what I'm saying? Like when a lady meet a dude, how much money are you making? You know what I'm saying? It ain't even about that. Are you living in your truth? Like that's the type of questions women should be asking men when they first meet them. Not the value of them because of how much money they make. And it's like women don't even see that. You know what I'm saying? In these jobs, they don't see your value. It doesn't, it's, it's not about that. It's about something else. And I ain't even figured what that is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, man, man, for like... I've been on this junk for 36 years, you feel me? And it's just crazy because it's like, bro, how long can this shit stay the same, bro? I know 36 years is nothing. 100 years is nothing. But it's like, yo, it's just nuts, bro. The world just like this, bro. Technology changed, but humans don't. That's weird because we the highest forms of technology. So how are we not just changing with this? And it was just weird, man. When they told me that this man put me down as I quit when he know he fired me. I was sitting there in front of a bunch of people, man. The man fired me, yo. And it was so crazy. Because it's like, I guess he felt like, since I was telling him about my art, he felt like I didn't need no unemployment. Now, I'm not even going to lie to y'all, but I wasn't going to try to get no unemployment off their weak ass. No way, though. Because I already know my worth. And I didn't try to do unemployment before. That shit don't even be coming through for me for some odd reason. And I think that's the universe speaking in another way. Because it's like, bro, it's people out there that need that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here working. It's hard to find work to a certain extent. It's only hard to find the type of work that I want out here. And I feel like that's only because of my mind frame, man. If I'm, I keep saying it's hard. But it's really not. It's really about who you know. And I've been really just... 
opening myself up to new experiences and not shutting myself in. I mean, I ain't gonna lie, I wasn't really shut in before, but I definitely would stay in the house and work on my own stuff and not be bothered with anybody and not, you know what I'm saying? Like, now I'm finding myself just trying to go out and just <clears throat> make new connections. You know? And then I met these, I met these cool people in overseas, man. Not even, I don't even know these people, bro. But they show me love, like they family, bro. And it's, it's amazing, cause it's like you get to a point where you start thinking, like, are you ever gonna find like like-minded people? So when you do finally find some like-minded people, it's just mind blowing, cause it's just like, man. And those people I'm speaking of, actually, people that you listen to right now, uh, you know what I'm saying? The homie Remy, she she don't do music, but she be invoking wisdom. You know what I'm saying? And invoking voices like I'm like a mofo, man. Remy be having a joint. She with it. Somebody that roll with the true ancestral knowledge. And it's just good, man, just to find like man and people, bro. People that's gonna push your work, you know what I mean? Like it's people out here, man. This is your family that won't even push your shit. You know what I mean? And that dude that bothered me sometimes, but I don't even let it bother me no more though. It did bother me. You know? And it's like these people won't wanna eat off this when you make it. And I already know that I'm destined for that though. You know what I mean? Like I don't even question it. Like that's me. This is what I was this is what I was born for, for real, bro. And I vibe with that that journey. And I vibe with this lesson. Like, even as I speak to you, I'm learning through my own words because this experience is more than me. You know what I'm saying? We got demons out here, man, for real. People that want to hurt you and just tear you down because you're trying to be what you feel greatness is. You know what I mean? I'm not out here trying to hurt anybody. I'm trying to uplift the planet with, with my truth. And that truth is art, bro. And it speaks it speaks to, to the soul, bro. Art is deep on so many levels because the, the first reason I feel like art is deep is because, bro, first of all, where is this stuff coming from, bro? Where are we pulling this from, bro? Where are we getting it? We feel like we imagine this and we just make it up, but do we? Like, do we really make it up, bro? I feel like it all came to us for a reason And until we acknowledge that We don't have them answers And we just gotta go with it Meditate on it Vibe with it Sometimes when you're around people That don't understand you or your journey Or their own journey They they, they make you question everything You know Like I don't know, like, have you ever talked to somebody, right? Y'all serious. And they, like, don't never, like, if they see you trying to do something, right, they never share your stuff, right? They never share your work. But that's heavy, bro. You know what I mean? Like, you talking to somebody, they know you trying to do some stuff and get big, and they don't share your work. And then they'll ask you why your stuff ain't got on yet. Well, shit, if everybody had that same mentality, like, you know, that's why I'm not on. Nobody's sharing my shit. I mean, it's just interesting because it's like, man, you gotta support your friends, you gotta support your family. What what are they what are they around you for if you're not supporting them, bro? Like, what are you doing with yourself that you don't feel necessary to support the people that you so called have you care about? If you know somebody you're doing is trying to do something and they trying to make something of themselves, right? Why wouldn't you not help promote them, man? That energy is the energy of a hater. For real You a whole hater How you gonna be talking to somebody And you don't share that shit Cause you don't see it in yourself And that's another thing that people don't be getting man But you gotta see it in yourself It's not enough just to hang around people That you feel is greatness You know what I mean Obviously you are around them for a reason The old saying is Birds of a feather flock together That's not Say it for no reason You vibing You on the same frequency Y'all drawn together That's magnetism Obviously it's something You have on that same level That you need to be working on With them 
You know what I'm saying? You don't, you don't just sit back and like ask them why they not on yet, and you're not even putting no energy towards what they doing. You literally just sit back watching. You uh, you obs- you just observing. What's the point of existing if that's all you're gonna do is just be an observer, bro? You gotta be participating in that joint, bro. You know what I'm saying? And then it hurt even worse when you see people that know you're trying to do stuff, they don't share your work, but then they share other people's stuff. Stupid stuff that have that has no meaning or value. It's just like I mean, it's funny, funny stuff. I share funny stuff all the time, but I also share other people's work on my Facebook page and stuff like that. On my Instagram, I talk about other people's stuff, especially when it comes to glitch game. They've been pivotal and they just been my, they've been sharing my stuff, bro. I've been getting a lot of exposure just from them spreading the word. And I don't even know these guys. You know what I'm saying? Like I know them spiritually. I know them in their souls. And we got a bond that was forged well before we even met. But it's like, man, I didn't grow up with these people, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't, I haven't experienced anything physical with these people. I haven't sat down at the table with them physically. I mean, it's been a webcam, but that's different. And it's like, just in that energy alone, it's kind of like, dang, man. How are these people who don't know me, bro? Doing this for me. I got friends I've been doing since college that don't even share my shit. You know what I'm saying? My, my my daughter don't share my shit. I share her shit, but I expect that though, cause she's shorty though. She don't get it yet. But even in this, it's like, bro, I'm trying to show her like, man, like, man, I'm not what your mother say I am. I'm not what your grandfather say I am. I'm none of that. At, at, at this point, I'm not even what I told you I was when you were young and greater. You know what I mean? And you were greater. And it's like, man, people got to understand this greatness. Not even just for me. Because the reason why I'm trying to do this, what I'm trying to do after the truth and do this stuff with these robots, is so it can show everybody simultaneously that we are all great. We all destined for great shit. We all got we all got higher callings, but it ain't even really about that in particular, though. You know what I mean? It's more so about acknowledging whatever your journey is and fulfilling that for the betterment of this planet and for the betterment of our future. You know what I mean? What like I don't I don't know if we get incarnated, reincarnated, or any of that. I don't know if that's true. I'm pretty sure you can come back here if you want to, but I'm gonna tell you this, man. What's the point in coming back here if you're not trying to make this bitch better right now? You trying to come back to some bullshit. I ain't on that. If I gotta come back here, I'm trying to come back to an oasis, man. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get the kids to realize that they can fly. If they put their mind to it, and you don't even need no fucking airplane. You know what I'm saying? The kids gotta know this power in them. They shine brighter than the sun. We live in a world where we acknowledge the stars in the sky, but we don't acknowledge the sun anymore. Like we just ignore it. We we sit down and we just talk about how beautiful the stars are. Like, ah, oh, the stars are so gorgeous at night. But what about the star in the daytime, bro? We got stars out here that's in people shining. We don't even acknowledge that shit. We looking at all these stars that's doing these movies that's not doing shit for the planet. They're not trying to uplift nobody. They may inspire you because they struggle too. And that, that even is part of it, some of it. But it's like, bro, what are they doing after they get this cosmic ability to have everybody's mind planted on them, bro? You got all this attention. People paying attention. Paying with their attention. That cosmic currency coursing through everybody's conscious and subconscious mind. That power of a God is on you. It's like, man, dang, bro, why we, why we don't see this, why we don't get this, bro, it's so hard, bro, it's like, <sighs> bro. I remember I was working at this other job, bro, I remember it was, I was just down about the planet, bro, I was sitting outside the job crying, bro, and then, you know what I'm saying, like, it was crazy because a, a brother walked up to me who worked there and he's like, what's wrong, bro? 
Cause he was like bro, You know what I'm saying A brother know And another brother sitting Crying You know what I mean It's something Cause dudes We don't really cry like that In public When I was crying in public bro. You know what I'm saying I'm really I'm in tune with the vibes I do not have my feelings like that Because That's my power And The brother walked up to me He asked me bro What's wrong bro Cause he know brother, Brothers ain't gonna be outside Just crying I learned that from a goddess, you know what I'm saying? I was at this event and she was just crying. And I'm like, what? I'm like, what's wrong? She like, nothing. I'm like, why are you crying? And she's like, I just gotta release this. And I felt that it resonated with me heavy. So I'm sitting outside crying, thinking. And it wasn't even about my life I was crying about. That's what made it so crazy, you know what I'm saying? Because I just felt it. Like I just sometimes I just feel this this deep dark. Overwhelming depression come over me sometimes, and it don't even have to be for me. So the guy asked me, he like, "What's wrong, bro?" And I'm like, "I'm crying for the world, bro. People don't get it, and they not getting it. You know what I'm saying? Like it's heavy for me, cause, like, man, I haven't had the toughest life, but I've been through things. You know what I'm saying? We all been through things, and some things that people go through are greater than the things that other people go through, and it's not even a competition." But I'm just saying that to say I haven't been through the worst. I've been through what I can handle and everybody's transgressions against them is something that the universe knows that they can handle and they can bear. You know what I mean? And some people either rise to the calling or they crumble. And the universe don't give it to you. The universe doesn't present anything to you that it knows you can't handle. Because you are the universe So the universe knows all And the all is you So When you go through these things right, You can't even allow them to even Tear you down This is honestly the first time I've been fired Where I didn't even get depressed at all No it's not Second time Because I just know I know What I'm here for And the more I meet more people in my lane or the more I meet people that's in their own lane, but we traveling on the same road, bro, it's glorious, man. I like, bro, I'm geek, bro. It ain't even like losing losing the job is whatever. But making these type of bonds where you transcending realities, fuck them jobs, bro. We we manifesting, bro, and and that's the type of energy that the crew been giving me because they just been encouraging me, man. For the longest time I was supposed to sit down and do all this But I've been procrastinating because Honestly It's like man You spend so much time just trying to get some fucking money man And it's like I'm gonna get this money You know what I'm saying I already got millions in my name waiting on me right now Because Look what I'm doing bro I'm not even in nobody else lane I be telling people like Like people I know they say hey Draw what people like Why the fuck would I do that I'm not about to draw what everybody like You got people who are not being genuine They not being authentic and, 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 and that is all tied into all this Because what are you doing If you're not being genuine and authentic You know what I'm saying You being a facade bro It's a lie You know what I mean You can, I, we, we have an infinite mind and this definitely for the shorties. Any shorties listen to this right now, you have an infinite mind, bro. Anything that another person came up with, you can come up with something equal or greater. If you keep that mindset and focus on this, man. When I was drawing these robots at first, I'm going to tell you something. When I was drawing these robots at first, man, it was crazy. Let me see what this stuff is. See, look at this, man. This metal is called bismuth, right? It's a rainbow metal, and it, it, it actually grows like this, bro. This is research. This planet that I did, like, bro, it took me some days to work on this. I had to think about gravity. I had to think about plant styles. I got to think about animals. I got to think about rock formations. And it's like, man, being an artist and being so indulged in so many different things, it allows me to even see into those principles of reality to be able to recreate them for myself. And these robots that I've been drawing, the robots is just, you know what I'm saying, like, show you my style because honestly i didn't copy these robots from nobody bro it took me a very long time to understand how to even get these robots in not even not not necessarily in these poses but in a certain type of look that i wanted 
And it's like over time they evolve and just grow. Show you something. See, I'm not done with this yet, and I think I'm gonna redo some stuff. But so this was one of the base forms for the robot, right? Shut up with the jacket on my man's. The robot didn't look like this when I first started. When I first started on this robot, bro, he literally had Chuck tails on, and that was it. And that was years and years and years ago. And this wasn't even my first robot I started drawing. The first robot I started drawing was J-Bot. And he was so bland. He was so bland. Like, they was they wasn't even great when I first started drawing. They were, like, white. And that's because I started drawing the robots on a dry, a dry erase board. In college. That's how long ago that was, yo. And it's like, man, what, if you can't see that vision through like that, it's like, man, bro, you ain't got it. You ain't got the vision. You got to keep that shit going. But you know how many people told me to not draw this? It don't look good. But it's like, bro, I'm moving with this, the wisdom and the power of my ancestors, man. How they give me this and then I doubt it because something somebody on this physical plane said. That can't even be. I can't even let that happen. These people don't even know their sales. And I was talking about that on my podcast. Why are we listening to people who don't know themselves? The world should be ran and led by people who know themselves wholly. If you don't know yourself with wholeness, it's like, bro, you don't know yourself. You're a stranger to you. So what type of power are you going to bring to other people around you? You're supposed to be guiding. We all supposed to guide each other. And I know a lot of people feel like that's not their responsibility, but bro, this everything is your responsibility, bro. You know what I'm saying? Old African proverb: eat one, each one, teach one. We even got to the point where we start letting one teach so many, and they corrupt it. These leaders that we love and bro, they so corrupt because we allow them to be that way because they are us. And at the end of the day. The goal is never to heighten or, or truly bring awareness. It's always corrupt, just corrupt, just corrupt mentality, money. And it's like, bro, you can't let that money do that. The money not even alive. The money don't have a heart. You letting this guide you, bro, something that's not even alive. You alive, being, breathing, loving, human. A fucking God walking, yo And it's like you just let something so undivine just taint you Money money is not even bad, though And that's what makes it crazy The money ain't bad The people are already corrupted And it's like, bro, we see this shit And it's like, it don't matter These these women out here, man These goddesses, man They, they see this money and they get corrupted by that shit They see, and you know what's even worse than the money? The clout Motherfuckers see clout and they go crazy for what motherfuckers would do anything for clout. And it's like, why, bro? Why don't you do something positive for clout? No, but I don't never see nobody doing positive stuff for clout. Like, dang, bro, do something nice for somebody, man. You know what? I take that back, bro. I have seen people do something nice for clout, bro. And that's bad. You shouldn't even be doing it for clout. Don't do it for the purpose of of being recognized. You know what I mean? And that's not even why I want to do this, though. I want to make some money. But I want to make money so that my kids ain't got to struggle and they can live in their truth and they can do their art. And I, I don't I want to make money so that Glitch Gang, you know what I'm saying, like they kids don't have to struggle and, you know what I'm saying, because they the family, but I don't want they I don't want them to struggle. I don't want they shorties to struggle. They, they, they shorties, my shorties, you know what I mean? And that's how, that's what family really is, you know what I'm saying, like, bro, I got sisters that don't even communicate with my daughter, bro. You know what I mean? They know she exists. They don't even hit her up or nothing. I'm like, how y'all her aunties and y'all don't even try to talk to her? That's weird. But they talk to each other, kids. And it's like, you really got, I think about all that type of stuff. Because it's like, man, everybody should be closer than what they are. But people don't see that, though. It's like, they don't see it till it's too late. And I really feel like this last two years with this whole... COVID stuff is like, bruh, 
I honestly feel that people are not learning still, bro. You still not learning, bro. People out here dying, bro. They dying. You know what I'm saying? Like, cherish this time. Learn. Bring forth new wisdom to yourself. You know what I mean? People don't even want to take that time out to do that. They just see somebody die. They go through the motions that people go through when other when people that they like that. You know what I mean? They they go through that little joint, grieving, thinking about life just a little bit, and go right back to their scandalous ass ways. And it's like, dang, bro. Why? Like, can we all just do this together, bro? It'll be way easier. You know when you go to work and everybody helping everybody? Have you ever been to work on a day like that? It's very rare, but when it happens, man, it's like everything is so perfectly aligned. If you don't share your pain and never understand the glory to life in this galactic man, that's what people don't be seeing it. Like, but yeah, you get a vibe with the joint and then you get a growth from it. Don't just... I don't know man People ain't learning And I feel like that's what this whole COVID joint is man If you really think deeper on this right What did COVID do? COVID forced people to go on the inside Right Now you think about that on a metaphysical level Spiritually What does that really mean? It means that you're supposed to be going in, inward. Outward wasn't the direction you'd be moving in. And people did go in, though. You know, people started their own businesses from home. But think about how many people self destructed though, in that same moment, though. You got people that was out here killing their kids because they couldn't handle themselves. And that's saying a lot because it's like, well, you can't handle your shoes. They're a direct reflection of you. Direct. Even when they get older, they're reflecting who you are. Even if you're not around them, they're reflecting who you are. But if you got a kid that you ain't seen all their life, they still reflecting you, bro. They can't help but this in their DNA. It's who they are. It's just who they are. They can't help it, bro. They got to. They got to, bro. But people don't vibe with it because I guess it's something that scares them. I'm not too sure. I mean, I'm always on a journey. I see the journey. I see myself as a mystical being. So I never saw myself as normal. I'm the type of kid. Like I was the type of kid where. When I would go outside, I would climb a tree all the way to the top and just feel the, feel the branches wobbling. I mean, I would be terrified. <laughs> but it was so fun, though. I'd be chasing squirrels. All type of stuff. They used to call me crazy, boy. I'm pretty sure people still call me crazy, man. That's good. That's an honor, by the way. When people call me a weirdo, that's an honor. Cause I just be vibing. I'm gonna be a weirdo forever. I can't not be a weirdo. I meditate through the energy in my spine and I start to unwind. Been visualizing, I've been visualizing, trying to seek the divine. I'm just, man, I'm happy I started vibing with people that just really in my zone. I stay zen in my yard, read books, get a pen and a pad and design. I'll go trust, so yeah, man, that was, it's just crazy, man, how people are, bro. People don't really be living in their truth, man. And then people get this this ego-driven attitude because of whatever job they're doing. It's like, bro, listen, ego, the ego is unnecessary, but at the same time, it's necessary. But don't direct it at me, though. Keep your ego inside of you, bro. Pump yourself up, bro. I feel like the ego was given to us so that in the moment... Where we didn't have others feeding in us or embracing us, that we were we were able to embrace ourselves, but we allowed that ego to grow so like out of control. It's ridiculous. Like man, keep it in control, bro. People be talking about Kanye, but Kanye got the type of ego that's godly to me because, but when they nobody, the whole world could be against Kanye, man. Everybody, I'm talking about this man, wife. 
But I'm pretty sure if his kids is against him, his family, bro, anybody, bro, the whole world can be on this man heels, bro. And he still feel himself and he know his worth. That's the type of stuff that the ego is supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, your ego is not supposed to just overwhelm everybody around you. Because at the end of the day, those people are externalized versions of your ego if they love you, bro. They gonna juice you up, bro. If they care about you, they gonna give you that vibe. They gonna give you that wisdom. And they gonna, they gonna tell you what's what, bro. They gonna push you. But we surround ourselves with a lot of fake people, too, though. So we don't even be realizing when um, people actually are here for us. A lot of the times we end up hurting the people that we love the most. And it's like we really gotta start vibing more within ourselves to see certain uh, cycles taking place. Go deep inside for the growth. There's more My apologies. Than I'm trying to do something right now. Give me a second. Yeah, man. So, I really just... I'm like, man, bro. When it comes to the whole job thing, right? You really can't even try to see your value in any of that garbage, bro. Because it's like... When people see that you great And it's not even hard for people to see your greatness You feel me? Like greatness shine I remember my my grandmother, right? When I was a little boy I used to call her every day My mom would literally call my grandma every day She got home from work to let her know she was in the house safe, right? And that's one thing that never stuck with me, bro I never I, I just I've always been like How can I explain it? I don't know I guess you could say I move like a loner But I'm really not a loner, though I just be in my own vibe, bro and I never, like, my mom and stuff, when I got older, I did not call her every day, bro. I mean, but she told me, like, I was a guy, and that's just what guys do. They don't do that. And then my grandma, when I was young, she used to tell me the same thing. I'd be like, why? I'm like, why, yo, why my, why my uncles don't call you every day? She like, they mean, me and don't act the same way. <laughs> and I thought I was so nuts, yo. Because it's like, dang, you get so caught up in life, you be forgetting that, man. But anyway. I would call my grandma every day when my mom would, and my grandma, I would talk to her, you know what I'm saying, by default, I ain't had no choice, really, my grandma was dope, she was a Libra too, and I'm a Libra as well, and it was just so crazy, because she would always have me sing this song, right, and it's like the song, it was a, it's a church song, my grandma was really churchy, and I grew up in like a little churchy family, my, my, my mom, she didn't really go to like church like that, <laughs> but my grandma, she kept me on that. You know what I'm saying? She always pushed that stuff in my head, reading the Bible back and forth. You know what I'm saying? Praying. I remember New Year's Eve, she would have me like praying for like an hour on my knees, bro. I used to hate the junk, bro. I'm like, what? I used to think my mom hated me, bro. She leave me. I'm like, why would you leave me here to deal with this? Stressing me out as a kid. But my grandma loved me, though. She was on the junk. So every day I would talk to my grandma when I got home from school or whenever we got back in the house in general, my mom would always call her. It didn't even matter if we like went to the grocery store and came back, she would call her again. So my grandma had me sing this church song uh, called This Little Light of Mine. And the whole point of the song was like, no matter where you go, there's a light inside of you, bro. Something akin to your soul energy, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, this energy, it shines. And when you acknowledge that energy, other people see you shining. And this is what I this is what I got from that song as a child, just singing that shit every day, bro. You know what I'm saying? This little light of mine, I'ma let it shine. Got all in your home, all outside, all like everywhere. I'm just gonna shine, beaming. You know what I'm saying? Like it's deep. So it's like as an adult, when I'm out here. Bro, it's subliminal, you know what I'm saying? If you ain't putting this stuff in your shorty head right now that they gods and that they manifest what they want and they manifest what they don't want to, what are you, you're not putting the right stuff in their head because they don't know the true principles of this reality, bro. You know what I'm saying? We, we more than we think we are, man, and we definitely more than we know we are. And that's a problem. It's like, bro, how, why are we thinking less of ourselves and we such great beings, you know what I'm saying? And my grandma just had me singing this song every day. 
and I hated that shit with like a passion I hated that shit so much but I did it because I know it made her happy though and her being happy made me happy just because she was just juiced you know what I'm saying she was just so turned up every time I seen that song and now as a grown man when I think back on that shit I see such a a deeper meaning in it because the song wasn't it wasn't for her it was for me you know what I'm saying and it was for me to realize my potential in these moments where the world doesn't see the honorable person that I am it's not for me to not see it because I should always see that in myself and it's like man people be out here and they just do dirty shit to people bro just just real just shysty you know what i mean and it's crazy that we sometimes let that get us down because it's like bro that's not who we are we're not even those moments when you do some dirty stuff to other people that ain't that ain't even you bro you really just passing on some some pain some hurt that was given to you so sometimes you really gotta sit back and just vibe on that and like I mean I'm just I be happy when I be thinking about the fact that my grandma instilled that type of energy on me though because it's like but where would I be right now mentally if she didn't give me that then though you know what I'm saying I can't even take that for granted cause it's like bro I'll probably be weak as hell without her giving me that warrior spirit in me you know what I mean and then sometimes I be thinking like dang the universe we were <laughs> The universe work in some crazy, mysterious ass ways, man. It's the odds of my grandma being the same zodiac sign that I am. So she really bestowed the Joan on me, you know what I mean? She like she just gave me so much energy in that. And it's like these thoughts, but they are definitely free your mind for the healing. If you allow it to, if you open yourself up to this. And that's another thing that's just so pivotal about Glitch Gang, bro. It's like, bro, these vibrations that they laying out here, bro. Who else doing this like this, bro? I had let my homeboy, I let my homeboy listen to one of the jumps. My man, my man was listening to my homeboy Michael right here, scene, right? Michael. My man started crying, bro. He had his eyes closed, his vibe to the music, and the tears just started flowing, yo. Know? And I'm looking at him, I'm like, yeah, that's it. Let that shit clean you, bro. Let that shit clean your soul, bro. That's what this shit, that's what they doing it for, bro. Acknowledging that. When you acknowledge that, which ails you, bro, you begin the healing process, bro. And that's what this music is, man. It's a, it's a healing process. That's what this art is. It's a healing process. If you out here, man, and you're not living in your truth, and you're not doing what you need to be doing as far as, when I say need to be doing, I mean living. You're not out here trying to free your mind for the healing. The word outside ain't the realest, bro. Like, man, I just be getting so, man, I get juiced up, man, especially when I be thinking about my path that I've been in thus far, everything that's been going on, the world, how can you not feel like you a legend, bro, we always sit here to do some great shit, and everybody think that being some type of celebrity is the goal, but it ain't, the goal is just to be living, doing what I want to do with my own truth. That's the goal. I don't care what that is. If I want to juggle bananas for the rest of my life, that's what I want to do, bro. I don't want to juggle bananas for the rest of my life. I'm just saying, though, you know what I mean? But it's like, dang, man. How can people not acknowledge their own power, though? You know what I mean? You got to acknowledge that, Joe. You got to understand. You got to see. You got to love. Because it's like, bro. If you're not loving, but you're living in your truth, it's not going to be fulfilling. Because love is the power behind all of all this.
lines. You broke through the skies. You charge, call you the pilot. You got Air Force in your high. Avatar, you shape minds. Head a dial tone, tap in time. Out of time, Pete did it fine. I'm still chilling in the ride. Living life between the lines. This is looking real nice so far, man. Meditation to me. What is he doing? Say Trying to show you this from time. You've been trying to show me what from time? Who are you? I'm you. Who else do you think you're talking to, fam? You sound just like me, though. You sound just like each other. I am you, you and me. Shit, it's 4 30, I drifted. Oh, damn, I gotta get up for work. What the hell does life even mean? I'm talking to myself in my head. I think it's crazy, us visions while meditating. But I gotta go to work. And it's flipping dark outside. I swear, I know this is meant to be a false reality, but damn, does it feel even faker after that? Let me burn one before I go in. Everything I haven't been 
the state of elevation show me I don't want a crown and topple down as my demons had a hold of me in this true life is there like any space for elevation I say we put the guns down and build back up our nation I swear I'm tuned into the grid I'm like a space station we all came up from the earth this is claymation vibrating vibration this all liberation I threw my cares to the wind and came on isolation the way they hear them what we live in is abomination it's cool I've got the green waiting I made him into robots for the comic, bro. They in the comic, bro. I don't know, bro. I don't even like geek yet, cause y'all don't know the power is in that. I'm talking about. At, at one point, I thought I was the only person out here just moving around some Neo, Trinity, Morpheus. Really, whole time I'm like, I'm, I'm like Morpheus and Neo combined. You know what I mean? I already know I'm, I already know the potential, and I already know the greatness. And it's like, bro, sometimes I, I, I fall asleep on it, and I gotta wake back up to it. My man Sirius the same way, man, and Michael the same way, Seven the same way, you know what I'm saying, Remy, same way, you know what I mean, like, dang, bro, it's power, bro, the homie Remy, bro, she, <laughs> bro, she a true goddess, man, she speak things, stars move to a wheel, bro, Seven commands dimensions you know what i'm saying like dang just to be around true goddesses like that bro is an honor you know what i'm saying michael and sirius bro they me so it's like bro being around them or like not even being around them but like just talking to them like these these people that when you talk to them bro they gonna send you light years light years into yourself bro. you know what i'm saying like you like you be thinking that you dive deep into yourself, right? And, and it's funny because like I had a homegirl, she was listening to, to this music, and she didn't get it. And it's like she did some mushrooms that night, right? Unexpectedly, she got some mushrooms out of nowhere, and then all of a sudden she just understood this man's music. Bro. And like I said, like I had a homeboy that was listening to my deal. My man just started crying out of nowhere. And it's like, bro, who do that, bro? That's why I'm so excited to even be working with these guys. Cause really, whole time, it's like working with a group of people that's all you. That's what it feels like. You know what I'm saying? They show you that type of love. And it's like, damn, bro, your family don't even show you that. But it feels so good, though, to have it, though. Sometimes you get something and you don't even realize that you, need, that you needed it. Some things we want and we we truly don't need that shit. So a lot of times we don't get that shit because we don't really need it. The universe will give you what you want. But the universe got to give you what you need first. Because once you get what you need, then you can manifest whatever you want. So it's like, bro, I feel like these celestial beings, bro, that are reflections of my inner being that I'm working with. I needed that, bro. And I want to just bro, tell y'all thank you, man, for just being excited to work with me and just, man, just showing me love, bro. We not even, we like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we not, we separated by water, and that's nothing but shit. You know what I'm saying? At the same time, it feel like it's everything. It feel like y'all worlds away. And we still just got that love and energy for each other. And that means a lot to me because y'all the, y'all the family that chose me, really, you know what I'm saying? I got family that's mine and they don't even choose me. So it's like, man, just to have somebody choose you. You know what I mean? 
you the chosen shit We all chose each other Before we even got here We probably made bonds You know what I mean On the, In the astral world Like man we gonna link up That type of stuff excites me Cause it's like man bro It's It's timeless The type of stuff that we trying to do bro Is so timeless And yet So right now But it's not right now You know It's It's crazy Cause we we just all got stuff we working on that's for now, but it's for the future, and it's for something greater than ourselves. Bro, it's definitely an honor to, to know y'all, man. I know y'all gonna tune in to the jump. And then I just wanna say, man, thank you again, bro, just for like all y'all believing in your boy, man. Y'all, the way y'all just encouraged me, man. The wisdom that Michael laid down on me, it touched my soul because. I'm a heavy fucking procrastinator But I will procrastinate on some shit And I feel like The words and the wisdom that Michael gave me was Words To tell me Well not, well, not just tell me but He talked to my spirit and he told me pretty much Bro don't stop procrastinating man Put this stuff out here for the world to see it And it's a part of me Feels like my work Isn't good enough you know what I'm saying But I feel like That's every artist bro It feels like that bro Every artist has that vibe When they be feeling like bro I'm not ready Or I'm not good enough For the world And it's like bro You are No matter what level you at I don't give no fuck If you just drawing stick people bro Bring that out Show the people You know why Because At the end of the day When you start doing that Like other people can join your world And that's pretty much what Michael was telling me right? He was like you know Put your stuff out there Other people want to add to this world too You know what I'm saying And he was telling me like Stop being selfish with it You know what I'm saying Just by me By me just trying to do a comic book Is so much less Than what I'm producing You know what I'm saying I'm trying to Give people a story about a world that's grander than just that story. And it's like, man, it, it really just was some profound stuff that you're saying. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, I never even thought about it like that on that level. And I should have been. You know what I mean? I still had a lower level thought of my, of my own. What I was trying to do. And it's like, he really, he really gave me that inspiration. So I've been making maps and... Pictures of the planet and stuff like that Because just that inspiration that he laid down Know me Was so pivotal to my mind Because it's like Bro, I didn't even At some point I don't even think people like my work man. Cause people be hating People would like your shit and not even say nothing They try to steal your shit And recently people been really Just giving me some good feedback bro And I've worked on uh, For a long time to really Manifest these skills on this level Man, I put a lot of Love, I didn't put a lot of heartbreak in this. Stay focused and it's like, man, it's good to be recognized by my peers and people on the other side of the planet, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's when people here in America don't even show me love, I got people in London showing me love, bro. Come on, man. How can I not be geeked up? I don't even, like, bro, I don't feel like no celebrity or nothing, but I feel like, shit, we all celebrities see each other, really, though. You know what I'm saying? When I talk to them, I tell them on their fans, and they be so humble. They be like, bro, nobody is a fan, bro. I'm like, damn, bro. You know what I'm saying? And that's true, too, though. But we all just got that genuine love for each other work, and it's like, what else can you ask for, man? People to be into what you into and just show gratitude to what you're doing because they can see the deeper meaning behind it. A lot of people going into this stuff, and they just got bad motives. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't be greedy, bro. You know what I'm saying? This is not even about the money. This is about the shorties. This is about us, bro, and the elders. Even the ones that's here, like, bro, I don't know how many times I got to say it, but I'm just going to keep saying it. And it's like, even when you're 100, bro, you're a fucking baby, bro. You got to get that shit in your mind. Understand that shit. Once you motherfucking under, enter, and overstand that shit simultaneously, all them hoes at the same time. Yes, you all of them at the same time. When you fully get that grasp that you still a baby, you're going to start really seeing your power. Because people don't even have that in their mind that they still babies, you know what I mean? Like, But you are, though. No matter how old you get, we only live to be like 
Jesus. 110 if that, you know what I'm saying? And that's not even really, you know what I'm saying? People die before that. So you don't even get a full cycle. And each cycle was 10, 10 years. So you don't even get a full 10 cycles, right? For the majority of us. And we feel like that's a long time, but that's really nothing, though. Like, I think people just take take for granted so many things in their face, like their whole lives, and then it's, it's really funny because I be sitting here thinking of my crazy mind. You know what I'm saying? Not really crazy, but my vast perspective with the small amount of intellect that I have. I don't think I'm the smartest person ever. You know what I'm saying I'm pretty smart though, and I just sit back and I be thinking like, man. You know a raindrop is older than you, bro. You know sand on the beach is older than you. That's age. That's that's true. That's 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 being old, bro. The sand is old. The grains of sand on the beach are older than you could imagine. And we be sitting here thinking to ourselves that we're old. You know how much sand is on the beach? I'm pretty sure there's more sand on one beach than there is people on the planet. The raindrops that fall on your head are older than you. That water is old as hell, man. That's why I keep being recycled and reclaimed. Even in that water process of that happening is powerful. You know what I mean? Like, damn. Just really think about that. Like, man. The water is cleaning itself over time. I know y'all probably like, what is this dude talking about? You talking about this energy, bro? Stop thinking that you old, bro. You're not old, even when you, even when you so-called old, you young. I just heard somebody say the other day that uh, in African, in the African belief, right? You're not truly an adult until you're forty, and that resonated with me a lot. It was like, but there's a lot to take in, bro. And I, and you know, with the type of elders that I've seen over the past few years, you you not even a, you not even an adult then, really. I feel like you're not an adult until you transcended on some shit spiritually, mentally. The physical shit is what this world is supposed to distract you with. So it's not really about transcending physically. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna happen regardless. But once your mind transcends that junk. It doesn't matter how old you are, really. In my mind, if even if your mind, right, even if, let's say you had a shorty, and you put the shorty on game their whole life, right? You raise them with that eternal wisdom of the elders. They know they self. They, they know the world around them. They move accordingly. You, can, you raise them with that, right? Even if they have this wisdom at the tender age of nine, bro, I feel like they're in the dope. Because who moving with that energy? When you put them in tune with the right stuff. It's crazy all my life. The things I've seen maybe. It's like what else is there, bro? That's being a true adult. You know what I'm saying? We got this thing as to where we think a, a, an adult comes with the body. Like that title of being an adult does not come with your body growing. Maturity doesn't come with your body growing. I mean, yeah, your mindset changes a tad bit, but that don't make you mature, bro. People think that paying bills make you mature. People think that making money make you mature. One to have a job and work for somebody else is mature, but none of that stuff is truly maturity at all. In no facet is that maturity, bro. True maturity is having a spiritual understanding of who you are, what you're doing here. How you gonna move? How you gonna heal others? That's true maturity, bro. And when you have those things in tune and in line with yourself, you just you a dangerous motherfucker in this world, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, I'm not trying to go back to this whole little job thing, but that's where my problem be coming from, man. People see me walk with my head high, right? And they feel inferior to this. Because they don't know themselves, bro. It's not even me. It's because they don't know them. So then they externalize it to me because they scared of the power that I know that I have. When there's nothing to be scared of because they got that same power. 
you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, why do you want to be a why do you why do you want to be a boss so bad? What is a boss? B O S S. Technically, what is a boss, right? A boss is a person, right, who tells you what to do. Pretty much, they try to do the least amount of work that they can do. They just boss everybody around. Just, just you know what I'm saying. Just think about that term, bossing around. That don't even sound good, bro. Why do you wanna? Why do you wanna? Embody that energy Instead of being a boss How about people try to be leaders You said leaders are getting the trenches bro You gotta think about boss What is a boss bro Really think about that shit. What is a worker You're pretty much a slave So if you look at a boss right They are a worker too They just tell them the workers what to do That's their job right So B-O-S-S Actually in my mind Represents best of society's slaves I never wanted to be a boss But why don't I want to be the best slave out here bro You know what I'm saying And then they really get robbed the whole time Because now you're getting a salary And then they don't work you halfway to death To get that And now you thinking you know what I'm saying? Now you think you getting this big money just because you got to tell people to do, but you don't realize, bro, none of your free time is your free time now because when they call your ass in, you got to go in. That's part of having a salary. Can't live like that, bro. And that's why I feel like dude had that mentality to talk to me the way he did disrespectfully because he didn't respect himself enough to understand his value. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and it really made me sad for him. Cause he don't even know what he capable of Sometimes we think that we only capable of great destruction Bro but it's like people don't even think about the great healing that takes place Even in destruction When you destroy something you create something new Destruction and creation go hand in hand That's why they really tell you like There's no such thing as good and bad Transmutation is what it really is You transmuting something to something else and that's why it's best to have your own energy to operate off of Because when you have your own energy, it moves different Through the timescape, you know what I mean? Like, like, it's something completely different when you're aware of your own power and you're using it You don't have to worry about nobody else being your battery, feeding off nobody Even though art is beautiful and, and it does, it, bro If you allow it, you can feed off a lot of people and use that energy to create a lot But then it's like Why? The same energy that resides in anybody resides in you So you still only feeding off yourself We all the same thing We always made from the same molecules That came from the same place So all our bodies are technically the same body Because we all made from the same exact material That came from the same exact source and it's like people don't think about it like that Science is just not catching up with a lot of the spiritual junk But the crazy thing about that is When was the spiritual stuff never not science? Like when was it never not science bro? Like We be thinking about all this other stuff And we don't even see the true power in our own beings These temples that we call bodies Yeah I'm buzzing like, bro, you don't think our ancestors did stuff to themselves to better us in the long run? Nobody be thinking about that, bro. Nobody ever thinks about We play all these video games, bro. First of all, let me tell you this. Nobody makes some shit up, bro. Nobody makes nothing up, bro. It's coming from somewhere. That I know. These robots that I be drawing, bro, I feel like the whole time I'm just glimpsing into another reality. Like, this is real. You know what I'm saying? These these Jones walking around, so and they own the mention doing their thing. Just like I'm telling these stories, I'm I'm taking a glimpse into these worlds. You know what I'm saying? And I got other stuff I want to work on too, though. But this robot stuff is way more complex because the robots actually represent humans. You know what I'm saying? And and the, and the highest form of technology that we are now, we just because we we soft carbon based life forms, we think that. These robots to get over on us But the robots don't have a certain level of Consciousness We can give them that consciousness But they still don't have no spirit though And that was the whole point of the, the comic book Because I gave the robots souls 
So the robots really are us though, because we are robots. Yeah, like shit's going through our body. Uh, we got we got cooling systems in our body. You know what I'm saying? We got stuff just like the computer because man doesn't make anything outside of himself or herself. Like everything we make is a direct reflection of us. Even when you go back on an organic level, like you know what I'm saying? Our children are direct reflections of who we are, and they are and they are here for us to reflect into, so that we can therefore grow and move forward from whatever cycle we're in within ourselves a lot of people not not many people have children and they're not dealing with no type of turmoil and your children they really are god you through that turmoil without even doing it though you know what i'm saying they don't even know they doing it and it's like bro they don't they're not aware of the beauty that they are bro and that's why we gotta show them though because it's like who else gonna show them bro what we gonna do? We gonna we gonna wait till they get jobs too, and then let somebody devalue them, and then let that be like that, and then they going through the same thing. We never ended the cycle. Some cycles that we go through are small cycles, bro. I'm talking about little bubbles that we live in. These are this is our reality. You go to work, you come home, you eat, you go to the bathroom, you go to sleep, you wake up and do the same shit all over again. And then man, we, and people be wondering why they get depressed. And it's kind of like. You're not doing shit, bro. What are you doing? Time travel ish. <laughs> You're not doing nothing. You just existing. And it's like, bro, I can't let the shorties, I can't let my shorties, I can't let nobody shorties just do that. Even when I, even when I was at work, bro, I used to talk to the teenagers like, bro, this not you, bro. You meant for great things, but until they believe it, what can you do? You can't do nothing. They gotta be able to believe that in themselves. And it's hard trying to get them to see it sometimes because you got the rest of the world just beating down on you, on you bro, for no reason. Just beating them down, man. Like the kids don't deserve it. The kids deserve everything. Who we leaving this joint to? Who we, who we, who we entrusting all this? Who? If not the shorty. Myself and still have to go through long life lessons. 
and all it builds character and his personal growth and shit. But the pain, though, the pain to learn really does make you wonder if it's worth it. So you're out the other side, of course. All right. Shout out to all the people that were big influences to my mission, my family. Shout out to the Shaman King, Sirius Black, Jay Mansour, Seven, Phoenix, D21, Crazy, Ryan, Gigi, can't forget you, Ryan. Katisha, you're a role one for the promotion and everybody that vibes with this. The Glitch Gang is fully online. Shine heavenly, we are all ninjas from the sun. Elevate many past lives, look what we become. We the honest, we the truth, pushing positive influence. Now it's time for the change of this main phrase flow. You already knew, we already know it's time to get your glow. And I might have to hit the powers, warp speed, light mode. If you ever meet a Jedi like me, it's time, bro. We about to elevate the whole damn scene, the whole globe. If you wonder, this the arc. My kill flow, and I might spark on the beat and zap the dark in your song. Give thanks, cause the ancestors here with me, bro. I'll be tuned into the frequency, collecting my low. I'll be pushing the mission. I said, get out of the system. They only want you to witness their domination. You're kidding. I've been hitting the rhythms. There's no control in my system. I've been given permission to raise that all the civilians. X-Men supervision. And if you thought I was tripping, I was the DMT did it. Fuck it, I can play Quidditch and trust them on it. I'm ready. Power suit super heavy. I'm here to turn up the levels. Stay rebuking the devil. Thank your family, the angels. They all around me. The healing is through the sound. Give your thanks. Say it out loud. One of my biggest rap icons was Jay Electronic Cup, but now I see the views from the clouds. I ain't gonna need a shrink, I found a shaman. My life is in harmony, we tapping into Brahma, recycle positive karma. Charged up off the prana, and I'm ready if you wanna step into all your honor. All I wanna be a light and a dark, but moves hearts to the finish. Heaven's doors are open if you're ready and you're willing. To all my in the goals that already know the mission. You know we about to put the hate vibe in submission. A light in the dark, the moves hearts to the finish. Heaven's doors are open if you're ready and you're willing. To all my in the goals that already know the mission. You know we about to put the hate vibe in submission. <laughs> if you're trying to spread love and elevate prosper and hate, you're officially glitch gang Anything more I need to say? No. Ah. Uh, shit in the motherfucking dark room sessions. The themes got to the light now. So I can see. <laughs> hey. Open your mind. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Glitch gang. We know. We are not. How your vibe just fly with me. Destination inside a week. I'm just trying to find in a peace. So, wholeness is what I seek. I take my mind up to the highest peak. That means clearance. While I'm on this beat, that means fair to be in by freedom. That's like mastery of your breathing. We are in a simulation, just simulating order and chaos. Still devastating. My mind's a world of my soul be ancient. I feel it deep in my meditation. I'm still debating if I should do this with our influence. We'll make it through. I mean, where we will just raise the cheap past telepathy. Yeah, you got a key. We the gang guys in a new generation We in a wave, let it rain like a fire station We in the matrix, playing like a playstation I couldn't fake it, it's all of my dedication It's the way she me, my team, we regulating Got the green DMT and the Sally waiting We the new doctors, check the medication This will help with healing and a bit of peace Rap, black, you go inside your mind Break the chains off your spine I'm opening your chakras, showing you divinity The energy is in me, the enemy me be trying to see us dissipate the synergy. I will grab you, flap you, go 
inside your mind, breathing chains off your spine. I'm opening your chakras, showing you divinity. The energy is in me, the enemy be trying to see us disappear. The synergy I will grab you, fly for you. Go inside your mind, breathing chains off your spine. I'm opening your chakras, showing you divinity. The energy is in me, the enemy be trying to see us disappear. The synergy is cool, cool, cause I got my mind right. Knowing that the time's right, wanna see a hate, try to friend of me. I'm used to deflecting all the jealousy. You and me, we got the only remedy. You ready? This the answer that will memory. 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 Gang guiding a new generation. We in a wave, let it rain like a fire station. We in the matrix, playing like it's PlayStation. I couldn't fake this. All on my dedication. This the wave shift. Me and my team, we regulating. Got the green DMT and the Sally waiting. We the new doctors, check the medication. This will help with healing and a bit of peace. We the gang guiding a new generation. We in a wave, let it rain like a fire station. We in the matrix, playing like it's PlayStation. I couldn't fake. This, all on my dedication. This the wave ship. Me and my team we regulating. Got the green DMT and the Sally waiting. We the new doctors. Check the medication. This will help with healing and a better page. We the gang guys in a new generation. We in a wave, let it rain like a fire station. We in the matrix, playing like it's PlayStation. I couldn't fake this. All on my dedication. This the wave shift. Me and my team we regulating. Got the green DMT and the Sally waiting. We the new doctors. Check the medication. This will help with healing and a better page. We the gang guys in a new generation. We in a wave, let it rain like a fire station. We in the matrix, playing like it's PlayStation. I couldn't fake this all on my dedication this the wave ship me and my team we regulating got the green dmt and the sally waiting we the new doctors check the medication this will help with healing and a bit of peace we the gang guys in a new generation we in a wave let it rain like a fire station we in the matrix playing like it's playstation i couldn't fake this all on my dedication this the wave ship me and my team we regulating got the green dmt and the sally waiting we the new doctors check the medication this will help with healing and a bit of patience Let's see, bro. Listen, bro. Y'all listening to these words these people is kicking out, bro? Wisdom, bro. I'm telling you, bro. If y'all listen to the glitch game, it's going to evolve you like years, bro. They got something for everybody at every level of the journey. You feel me? Like, bro, even if you just starting out on the journey, you need to crack that door open. They got you, bro. Like, man. It's nothing. It's nothing that they not doing, bro. Like it's something they not talking about. They they on the way, bro. They looking for you in another dimension right now to help you find your way home, bro. The how did this start in the middle? Hold on. Geometric patterns when I take a token smoke. We gotta start this from the beginning. Seven on the way. So I had the 
there's a match to me Yeah, we switching dimensions and realities Yeah, we flipping that set to all the matters we Better face with all our lies And we see through the lies When we close our eyes And we see it from the side I said, I said, change my life 447 when I hitched that right Talked to my guards, heard the cops outside Heard everyone's voice, I had a place in my life Died a couple times, but I rose up high Everybody tripping, the fire's inside, going deep, never slipping, the itching, the aching and the waving, distant, I'm mapped out, the solar in my being, now I'm shifting, light hit the prism of my third eye, switching, the power of the meditation, help your mind quicken, substance, the DMT, a crack open the vision, now your mind's open, are you ready for the mission, frequency they pumping, have you trapped in this dimension, it's more than the music, but it's more than I can mention. Look up in the sky, care package that I'm sending Mending, beginning of the ending This vibe I call the healing Through this music, what I'm sending I'm a satellite, I beam and pass the wave Go tell a friend, we'll elevate a whole scene Know what I mean In the goes ahead to take the kingdom back again I wanna tap into this frequency frequently I take a hit and close my eyes and see in the symmetry I'm feeling the synergy I've got Jesus within me I've got Kali, I've got Buddha I've got beings within of me. I've got fire, I've got water, I've got demons within of me. I'm the yin, I'm the yang, I'm the balance and energy. I'm the queen, got the plan, got the power within of me. Got the powerful remedy, got the key to my life from a powerful entity. progress is being made. If you stick a knife in my back nine inches and pull it out six inches, there's no progress. If you pull it all the way out, that's not progress. The progress is healing the wound that the blow, that the blow made. And they haven't even begun to pull a knife out, much less try and pull, uh, heal the wound. You have, have you have they won't even admit the knife is there.
fucking gym. We got the love, we got the vibe of higher beats. We got the mind, we got the light, the frequency. We elevate and levitate to the extremes. We don't go sleep, yeah, we go deep into these dreams. Astral project into the night and we see things. We can't explain like me some 360 degrees. It's just too deep to stay in tune. We the trippy gang, powers up, higher breath. Take another hit, wake up this shit, lit reality switch, alternate universe, trippy shit. Got the code, got the script, got the key to this shit. So hold the flow, frequency lit. Ch -ch -ch Choose what you admit. In tune with the rhythm, in tune with the prism, in tune with the living mechanism. Mism, mushrooms on the mission. Mm. Wait, wait, no, who that in the mirror? Oh shit, it's me, avatar in the flesh. Oh, oh, let's see what we finna create today. Okay, let's play and do this my way. Finesse the game we play on this stage every day. Uh, 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 uh. It's a whole new world. Look in the mirror, that's a whole new girl. We're met in a code that I know too well. So let me reintroduce myself as a person. No stress, the smoke blowing to my left. That's my nigga. We've been taking psychedelic teas, a hit, and we've been hitting all them strings. Honey, boo boo, wedding cake, and some shiva mixed with sage. It's gonna be okay, cause what we see isn't the same as what's real, what's really real. So fuck a deal and show me what the dream is still. Got a plan to execute by manifesting from the root up to the crown and shut it down. And shut it down, down, down. Yeah, we vibe until the sun goes down, down, down.
the universe. Don't miss your spaceship, don't miss your train, just feel the energy, y'all. It's insane, it's insane, it's a, it's a, it's a plane, it's a planet moving through the astral planes, tapping into different frequencies, living in a dream, seeing beings in the membrane, going insane, going insane, going insane. It's a different kind of vibe when you're smoking a dream. It's a different kind of ride, are you ready to see certain powers that invested in we that we never get to see? Cause we're too busy trying to find the answers when the gods be living right inside us. Now I got the remedy, metaphysically tapping into being, seeing all these things now what you gonna do when you know too much when the truth gets a little too tough i am a talisman if you see what i see then you know what i mean so what do you believe it's a geometry i am a talisman if you see what i see then you know what i mean so what do you believe it's a geometry so come with me to the ceremony. Let me show you a couple beings vibing on the frequency. How we vibe, how we see, how we take these journeys. How we fly, how we speak, how we make this money. It's a whole new world like nothing you've ever seen. It's a whole universe of stuff you ain't ever dreamed. Write a whole new verse from one puff of the dadeem. Are you really ready to see? Are you really ready to be the higher version of yourself? Are you really ready to leave everything you knew behind and read between the lines? Get the answers that you seek. Are you ready to re-examine everything you believe? We ain't smoking them trees, yeah, we smoking the D. So enter if you wanna, but I'm warning you, G. What you're about to see is beyond imagination. I am a talisman. If you see what I see, then you know what I mean. So what do you believe? It's a geometry. I am a talisman. If you see what I see, then you know what I mean. So what do you believe? It's a geometry. In the matrix, green lines in this fake bitch. Simulated, it's a state fix. So, how the fuck will we create it? Are you a glitch in the matrix? I'm a glitch in the matrix. Green lines in this fake bitch. Simulated, it's a state fix. So, how the fuck will we create it? Are you a glitch in the matrix? Uh. Time is of the essence. Ride the wave, see the Cali in my presence. Find your own frequency or come and take a hit with me, but don't be hating on my steez. I'm a very different being. Uh, never doing what I'm supposed to. I'm just doing what my soul do, my home crew. I close my eyes and I rise out of my body. Open my mind and I'm high, no worries. I got music in my DNA. Free the slaves, ever think I'll win a VMA? Cause what I say is too real for the industry. Uh, I just be fucking up the imagery. 93 to infinity. Can you feel the synergy? I'm just your mirror be. What you see when you look at me is another version of yourself living differently. Is another version of yourself living differently. Uh huh. I'm a glitch in the matrix. Green lines in this fake bitch. Simulated, it's a state fix. So how the fuck will we create it? Are you a glitch in the matrix? I'm a glitch in the matrix. Green lines in this fake bitch. Simulated, it's a state fix. So how the fuck will we create it? Are you a glitch in the matrix? Uh, have you ever died? Die frightened. Make yourself seen it happen all over again. I said, have you ever died? If the vibes don't match this, it's a power you don't play with. Hear the energy is sacred, holding matter in a space with. It's freaking ancient, it's a cycle of creation that's never faded. We never fade it, elevate it, so amazing. It's amazing, a matrix, uh huh. I'm a glitch in the matrix, green lines in this fake bitch. Simulated, it's a state fix. So, how the fuck will we create it? Are you a glitch in the matrix? You ever died, died frightened. Make yourself seen it happen all over again. I said, Have you ever died, died frightened? Make yourself seen it happen all over again.
We sitting with the stars. Let's take a trip to Mars. Got the streamies in your bars. Yeah, we elevating hard. Yeah, we glitchy, glitchy, glitchy. And it's bitchy, bitchy, bitchy. Yeah, we litty, litty, litty. About to take over the city. We riding, we smoking, we vibing, uh. We flying, we writing, we enlighten. Got the gang by my side. We're living for the ride. The journey is the destination. Matrix is a revelation. Got the keys inside. Got the rhythm. Yeah, we glide through the sky on a psychedelic car. Yeah, we rise through the night. Got the angels in our sight. We living for the right to be your right. Do you understand me? So what's it gonna be? Are you living like a G? Are you living like you're free? Are you in reality? Or are you in a simulation, doll? Are you in your own creation, y'all? Ring, 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 teleport to anywhere Close your eyes and travel there Got the keys so meet us there Glitch gang everywhere Got the codes, we cracked it, yeah Yeah, 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 yeah Ring, 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 teleport to anywhere Close your eyes and travel there Got the keys so meet us there Glitch gang everywhere Got the codes, we cracked it, yeah Yeah, 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 yeah Trippy individuals, silly with the visuals We are living miracles, this shit here is critical To the revolutional, bridge we're interfusing With the conscious evolutional Rise we're introducing, oh glitch gang Rising on the scene, nigga glitch gang Riding for the team, huh. rising back to beam Bigger take a couple pulls of the team Jigger show you what it means to be a glitch in the scene, nigga yeah, we living in a matrix, we make shit To vibe with energy and make shifts, create shit And teleport to different places, we ancient We tripping, waiting for our spaceships, we fading Ring, ring, teleport to anywhere Close your eyes and travel there Got the keys on me, us there Glitch gang everywhere Got the codes, we cracked it, yeah Yeah, 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 yeah Ring, ring, teleport to anywhere Close your eyes and travel there Got the keys on me, us there Glitch gang everywhere Got the codes, we cracked it, yeah This is the construct. It's our loading program. We can load anything from clothing to equipment, weapons, training simulations, anything we need. Right now, we're inside a computer program. Is it really so hard to believe?
what we have here is evidence that the topology of the world is not the topology that we ordinarily see. That is, maybe things that from our macroscopic point of view appear to be widely separated in space, like uh, the storm in Chicago in September, from a microscopic point of view might actually be continuous and touching all of them. Got all my tracks on repeat. Yeah, I've been studying me.
Renovate, renovate, renovate. Out of the storm, yeah, we escalate. Our bodies are here, but our souls always meditate. Frequency high, so we run the maze. We still get depressed, but we know the game. So we don't regress, we just hold the aim. To higher realms, yeah, cause we know the way. So get out my face if you love this place. I'm ready to leash and I can't. I got the in my bag. I got the acid on tap. I got the DMT. I live my life like a sash. Holding it down for the game. Glitchy all over the map. Learning to Cali, we out. Through that dimension, be right, yeah. I got the shoes in my bag. I got the acid on tap. I got the DMT. I live my life like a sash. Holding it down for the game. Glitchy all over the map. Learning to Cali, we out. Through that dimension, be right, yeah. Swimming in an ocean of drugs. So much love, we unplug from the bug. From the system, we free up. The resistance, we above. The persistence, fuck the gov. The mentality of us, yeah, we know that we the ones. To hear me, just turn the dial. Walk on me, live your life wild. Well, I don't know what I'm about. I just fight until I'm out. Creating sometimes I'm down. God, this place stresses me out. Just trying to figure things out. Until then, I'm just about. I'm a 
Glitch in the matrix, green lines in this fake bitch. Simulated, it's a state fix. So how the fuck were we created? Are you a glitch in the matrix? I'm a glitch in the matrix. Green lines in this fake bitch. Simulated, it's a state fix. So how the fuck were we created? Are you a glitch in the matrix? Uh. Time is of the essence. Ride the wave, see the Cali in my presence. Find your own frequency, you'll come and take a hit with me. But don't be hating on my steez. I'm a very different being. Uh, never doing what I'm supposed to. I'm just doing what my soul do, my home crew. I close my eyes and I rise out of my body. Open my mind and I'm high, no worries. I got music in my DNA. Free the slaves, ever think I win a VMA? Cause what I say is too real for the industry. Uh, I just be fucking up the imagery. Now Free to infinity, can you feel the synergy? I'm just your mirror be What you see when you look at me is another version of yourself living differently. Is another version of yourself living differently. Uh-huh. I'm a glitch in the matrix, green lines in this fake bitch. Simulated, it's a state fix. So how the fuck were we created? Are you a glitch in the matrix? I'm a glitch in the matrix. Green lines in this fake bitch. Simulated, it's a state fix. So how the fuck were we created? Are you a glitch in the matrix? Uh, have you ever died? Die frightened. Make yourself seen it happen all over again. I said, have you ever died? Die frightened. Make yourself seen it happen all over again. Oh, uh, you can't speak my language. If the vibes don't match this, it's a power you don't play with. Hear the energy is sacred. Holding matter in a space with. It's freaking ancient. It's a cycle of creation that's never faded. We never fade it, elevate it. So amazing, it's amazing, a matrix, uh huh. I'm a glitch in the matrix. Green lines in this fake bitch. Simulated, it's a state fix. So how the fuck were we created? Are you a glitch in the matrix? Have you ever died? Die frightened. Make yourself seen it happen all over again. I said, have you ever died? Die frightened. Make yourself seen it happen all over again. What we have here is evidence that the topology of the world is not the topology that we ordinarily see. That is, maybe things that, from our macroscopic point of view, appear to be widely separated in space, like uh, the York of Chicago, from a microscopic point of view, might actually be contiguous in time. <laughs> Hey yo, this this glitch gang. I don't know who tuned in the last minute, but I'm gonna make this the last track. But Pumping, glitch, got music, pushing high vibrations through my city. More than woke, I'm 
Yo, much bliss, more life. And I just want to tell y'all, man, thank you guys for joining me yet again. And, bro, I really hope that y'all have a great day, much bliss, and more life.